Hello and welcome back to the shack with me, 2E0XSB. Hope you're all keeping safe and sane during this lockdown. Today I'm putting a little video together on how to calibrate the Nano VNA. It's something that I've seen crop up in the comments section. So I'm going to identify each of the little components for the actual calibration purposes itself and show you a quick run through on how to do the calibration. Okay, so I've got my Nano VNA here in its 3D printed box and I've got three calibration tools that come with the kit. The first one that we're going to use is the open. If you can see that there, that's the open, so it's not actually going to touch anything to the inner pin. We have our short, which has got the pin there, and it's shorted to the outer. And lastly, we have our load, which you can tell has got the little insulator in the middle between the pin and the outer. That's a 50 ohm load. And we also get an SMA female to female adapter for use with the little SMA patch leads that you get. You get two of these with the kit. So I'm going to switch on my Nano VNA. And first up, I want to click onto the screen here and I'm going to push in for Cal, so calibration. I'm going to reset that so that we're back to square one. And then I'm going to go back into Calibrate. Now first up we have the Open Test. Now if you know that the actual connector up here is clear, you should be able to just press on that and do an Open Test because it's open naturally. But I'm going to put the Open on there for now. Just gently finger tight and click the Open. Next, the Short. Take that off, grab the short pin, and just very gently screw that on again. Click on short, remove that, and we're going to place our load in that position now. So very gently. Putting that on, we do our load test. Lots of people leave that there and click on the done part, but I'm just going to show you the other two parts quickly. So, isolation once again, that's basically your open. So take that off, do isolation, and the through test. Take our little patch lead very gently, screw that onto. Channel 0 and the other end to channel 1. You can see that. There we go. Don't twist that too much, just get it nice. Click on our through, then done. It'll then ask you to save that into one of the memory positions. I'm going to click that into save zero. So that's on zero. Let's undo these. And very quickly, I'm just going to check how well that is calibrated. So I'm just going to switch that off for a moment. Switch it back on. Now, as you can see here, the blue arrow is right over to the side of the screen. As soon as I attach a load, which is the load, that should dart directly to the middle of the screen there. And there we go, we've got that in the middle. And the final check, once I take that off, is to then put on the short, so that's the short one, and it should, if all is well, go all the way over to the side of the screen, to the end of the Smith chart. So what we're looking at when we're saying the middle 
and both ends is on the Smith chart. Okay, so I th hope that that makes things a little bit clearer for those who have been having a bit of trouble with the actual calibration on that. If you do have any comments, put them down below. If this video has been of any use to any of you, please do give it a thumbs up or even possibly a subscribe. Until then, keep safe for you and yours, and I'll see you again.